Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, and I'm here to, to tell you about all the wonderful things that are happening in and around the city of Missoula, state of Montana, United States, maybe the world, who knows? But we got a lot of video clips, art clips. I got uh, Behind the Basketball. So we have the very last Behind the Basketball. I'm going to show you guys. I edited it down, but of course you can watch it any the full version anytime by logging on to YouTube to find it from our very own Graham um, Martin's um, YouTube channel. So as I mull through that, let's mull through the weather as this week is looking a little bit better than last week. As we see, it's going to be partly sunny, mostly cloudy, mostly sunny. By Friday, you can see some sunshine into the low 60 degree temperatures happening in um, later this week. Your lows are going to be 32, so uh, the chill is going to be pretty big. So there's going to be quite a range, uh, uh, about a 28 degree, 30 degree uh, shift. Um, between the lows and highs, so um, just because you think it's going to get a little bit warmer doesn't mean you shouldn't prepare for some potential cold nights. So if you guys are planning on going out and about, this week is the week to go out and enjoy some sunshine. Um, yeah, and that's a little bit of taste of weather. Hopefully, uh, it'll uh, we won't. Hopefully, that 20% chance of rain that we're going to be seeing later this week um, won't rear its ugly head too well and we'll maybe see some pass by as well. Uh, last week uh, I started a new segment called Bear Watch but unfortunately Bear Watch has abruptly come to an end because Glacier National Park has not put up a live stream as of Thursday April tw 12th so well I'll let you guys know if I if there's a, any bear footage coming up but as of right now I didn't see any it seems like the uh, bear just uh, went back into hibernation because uh, the last video I saw was pretty snowy. Um, but in local news, um, brown trout, there's a brown trout alert in Libby areas near the Kootenai River uh, back in 1889. When the brown trout was introduced to local geography, it has met many species in the area with extermination, especially the endangered rainbow and bull trout in the, uh, the Libby Kootenai region. Uh, report to authorities within 24 hours, a proposal being considered this week by Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Park Commission. Staff at F, uh, FWP are pr uh, proposing the regulation changes to prevent brown trout from establishing in the river and damaging rainbow and bull trout populations. Um, F, uh, FWP has uh, spent the last 20 years doing population estimates in the stretch of river and despite handling hundreds of thousands of fish there has been no bull brown trouts until now uh, the Fish Wildlife Park Commission uh, meets uh, this Friday at its headquarters in Helena um, to discuss uh, did, oh wait actually meets tomorrow sorry about that um, I just double checking it's the 18th today to the 19th at 8 30 a.m. and it is uh, if you want to listen to the meeting you can go to uh, FWP dot mt dot gov on a listen only basis well there was another earthquake near lincoln did you feel it neither did i basically the uh inceptor recorded at 2.3 but helena independent record um got information from the u.s geological geological survey which measured the earthquake at 3.8 which on the scale works for the power of 10 so basically one equals 10 2 equals 100, 3 equals 1,000, and so on. That's how they usually measure the, the scale for epicenters. So the epicenter was about um, 8 miles away from Lincoln and 21 miles away from Avon. So that was kind of like the epicenter area. Fire Rescue is wondering if there is any damages. And if there is, you should report them to the uh, uh, fire department because you never know if you need insurance uh, or a checkup in the future for reassurance. So national uh, news, last night was the deadline for your taxes to be paid paid and everybody should be frustrated with the fact that the online payments were down pretty much all day in the press release last week the IRS touted its new mobile friendly website it's uh, as a helpful tool for people who need a last minute tax information as the tax deadline nears uh, and the demand for IRS tax help by phone is higher the IRS encourages taxpayers to make irs.gov their first stop when questions arise the agency wrote. Uh, people who need more time can file an extension, but that doesn't extend to people who cannot pay those taxes. So you have to pay, you had to pay up front yesterday, or you can um, uh, basically um, owe interest or penalties. Um, of course, Yep, that's basically it for all the national <laughs> news that's happening. I got a couple uh, new programs for you guys that are going to be airing on MCAT. We got Odyssey of the Stars, um, which we filmed uh, last month, which honored a person who is a producer on Project Runway. So we get a little taste of that program and more. Um, and when I come back, I'll talk about some city council stuff. So stay with me.
Habitat is, um, depending on which pool you look at, like the number one or number two trusted charity in America. Yeah. So people trust Habitat. We are excited about what we stand for. We make a difference. You know, you and people need help paying utilities and they need help and you can pour money into those things forever trying to help people. The thing that we like is that what we produce is saw as a home. Yeah. It's real estate. It's enduring and it changes a family for generations. Yeah. They could never have gotten into a home and all of a sudden they own their own home. That's the American dream. Is it? So here we are in Northwest Territories of Canada where I was doing among uh, about 22 other scientists doing crown fire experiments. And one of the things that I did had to do with looking at home ignitions and particularly looking at high intensity flames and how close do those flames have to be in order to ignite this, a wood wall. So here we have a wood wall. It's at 33 feet from the forest edge where the crown fire is going to burn up to the edge. And the fire guard out here is cleared. This is about 100 feet in this particular case. And note that it's full of, it's, it still has quite a bit of woody debris and we see real time ignitions occurring from firebrands. We did many experiments and what you see there, sort of those mannequins, um, the clothing sticks, um, are looking at uh, per personal protection equipment. Uh, we also did f fire shelters and all kinds of things. But the important point here is that the crown fire came up 33 feet from the wall section and it didn't ignite the wall section. All right, designers, wonderful audience members, welcome to the show. I have great hopes for these young people and their careers, even though I don't know them yet, because we're all looking for that breakthrough moment, aren't we? That moment in our lives where we create something, we do something and we say to ourselves, I deserve to be here. By the way, where is here? Missoula, okay. I deserve to be in Missoula at the University of Montana, so, <laughs> Let's meet our three young designers, shall we? Ooh, and who do we have here? I'm Tammy Tim. Tom. Tom. As you can see, I'm kinda quirky and strange. Here's my rubber ducky Dylan, say hi. He's making me a bit nervous too. Well, I'm thinking that I'm the one that you think might not be very good, but I end up having extraordinary gifts that are allowed to flourish here at the university. That's good, good, well, good, yes, <laughs> yes. Next. Would you guys like to ask some questions? <laughs> yes. So I live in town and I don't like have land. I'm not a farm kid, like, and so like, can I still be in like ag ed? Yeah, of course you can. I'm not a um, farm kid myself. I actually live in the city as well. Um, I started at FFA in my freshman year, so you just have to enroll in the classes and it's really fun. You get to go out to the farm and experience all the animals and everything else that they have available. Anyone else have another question? I do. Yes, I Chris? Do. I want to play sports in high school, but I, I'd like to go out there and see what's going on. Can I do both? Yeah, of course. I am a cheerleader and I've also been in speech and debate drama and key club and I've also been an FFA so you can definitely make room for all of the extracurricular activities. They actually work well together. Yeah. Next question Chris. Yes Amy? So I can't afford to buy a cow. Can I still do it? Yeah, there is a world of opportunities to get scholarship money, to make money or to work on our farm and kind of use that as a summer job that you can use to raise funds to buy animals or go to college or whatever you choose. Hey guys, um, those programs and more are ac accessible by going on to MCAT.org. MCAT.org is your resource for everything Missoula. Um, but also, we have our summer camp registration. Um, if you are interested, um, if you have a kid who is age 9 to 13-ish, um, you can... Um,
register on our website at MCAT.org. You can register here. You can even register where it says Summer Camps 2018. We got four summer camps for you guys. We got uh, two animation camps. We got a uh, time travelers camp, which is more like a Ken's Burn, Ken Burns kind of documentary type class, which would be fun. Uh, we also have Zombie Camp, which uh, it always is very popular, so you better sign up fast before it's too late. But let me t talk to you guys about how you can find the programs that you just saw and more. So if you go to MCAT.org, you click on our Video On Demand page. You can click on 189. That seems to be more uh, based on where you need to find more information. You can go to See Entire Schedule. You can go right here. So um, the most recent programs are all on the list from the top to bottom. Um, but of course, if you want to search a keyword, let's say you want to look at a lecture series, maybe President Lecture Series. President, make it simple, like any search engine, President. See, President Lecture Series, they have the facility open forum for March 22nd, 2018. There's open forums all throughout this way. There's a bunch of different things. President Lecture Series uh, from the th uh, 312. President Lecture Series, George Scabalia Seminar, all those programs and more just by typing in President and our video on demand page. But it's time for some City Council. And City Council, uh, a lot of times, there there isn't too much going on here. A lot, to, a lot They approve the consent agenda. But the one thing that I really spoke out to me, that really just kind of... Uh, um, I guess highlight of that night would be the Volunteer Appreciation Day. So Giles uh, Theron, Th Thelen, uh, sorry about that, was honored the other day during the Outstanding Volunteer Day Proclamation. Morgan Valiant talks about him. It's par for the course that happens all the time. I met Giles through the university. He was actually doing research on ecological grassland restoration up on, Jum on Jumbo. He lost the money uh, for that was funding his position, and he kept doing the work. Um, and so he uh, has helped a ton. Uh, I think he serves as a great ambassador for both the Conservation Lands Program, Missoula Parks, and the city as a whole. So I'm very proud of him and happy that he's getting this award tonight. All right. So that was Morgan Valiant, and he's the one that's been working on a lot of the uh, uh, Moon Randolph Homestead and a couple other things. That here. Here's Dean, uh, Dean McGovern to say a couple uh, words about Giles as well. Um, for as much as you have to hear what might be wrong with Missoula, Giles is certainly what's right with Missoula. Um, and I'm sorry you have to hear about people's complaints about Missoula. But uh, Giles uh, knows the power of community service and volunteerism. It's in his heart, and we are proud to call him a friend. He knows the power that uh, community service and volunteerism, as it brings people together and creates a common purpose, he knows the power of the collaboration it causes, and he knows that it inspires people like him to think for uh, rather than private gain about public good. And his fingerprints are all over this city in pocket parks and in uh, uh, tr the biggest triathlon in the state of Montana. Uh, he has put in tireless efforts uh, in, in landscapes, in private landscapes, in public landscapes. He's got spaces on the university that he has put time into. And uh, he's just a terrific asset to the city. All right. So uh, another quote uh, um, praising Giles um, is from Kim Burke. And it tells about Giles in neighborhood councils and how uh, by through neighborhood councils, you too can volunteer to help change uh, your neighborhood. Well, there was a plan for a trail in Grant Creek from at least the 1980 Grant Creek area plan. There wasn't uh, the the motivation or the mechanism to get it done until recently. Earlier efforts had failed for lack of expertise among the members. We had the desire, but nobody had any relevant skill, skills, so we just sat around and bitched about not having a trail and didn't know what to do about it. But when the neighborhood councils formed, they d our neighborhood council did a survey of the Grant Creek residents and found out that there was overwhelming support for a trail. All right, so that was Sam Burke, and it talks about some of the things that uh, Giles helped um, introduce with um, the community council. But of course, uh, to volunteer and to get some citywide award next time, you can guys can go on to ci.missoula.mt.us. It's a website so nice. You have to write it all out, ci.missoula.mt.us. Um, it is a great way to get involved. If you want to volunteer, you can go to How Do I, apply for a job, license permit, board commission. Uh, you can contact city staff. You can find city maps, records, all sorts of wonderful things. You can sign up for art calls. Uh, bids 
RFPs and RFQs, ooh, e-notification recreation programs, volunteer Missoula, and Way to Go Club. So all sorts of wonderful opportunities for you guys to check out your city of Missoula. But of course, you can join us Friday where we talk about discussing the fiscal year 2019 preliminary budget calendar and process, as well as the uh, new WDesk software. Staff will be discussing WDesk training for city council and how this new software will affect the budget process and document management in budget committee meeting. Missoula County has embarked in a multi-year planning, design, and implementation program for changes in Missoula, city, uh, Missoula County Fairgrounds. Uh, Missoula County Fairgrounds Director Emily Bentley will provide an update to the LUP committee regarding the um, schematics plans for facilities, design guidelines, and under consideration. This is during the Land Use and Planning Committee that I'll talk to. Uh, the county commissioners and the city council will be coming together, maybe talking about this because it's a count it's a county fairgrounds the city um will be talking with the county about this as well but among other things um they're going to be discussing shared interest strategic vision and ways in which we can do a better job of working collaboratively and going forward so the biggest thing that the city and county worked on together was the fort missoula regional park and we'll continue working on it in the future as well and the last but certainly not least is public works the de uh, the, de uh, the department service transportation de um, division manages montana department of transportation transportation crash data uh, um, for Missoula County. The crash data is uh, fundamental to the Missoula uh, Community uh, Transportation Safety Plan. So the idea is this, there's having a memorandum of understanding that will allow um, the Transportation Division to have direct access to MTT's, MDT's Safety Information System, SIMS, and which will provide um, continuous crash updates via the Public Works. But of course, the Public Works is working on a lot of things. Public Works has been getting busier and busier with the implemented, with the uh, um, d um, added, uh, the added um, Missoula Water Company. So just let you guys know what's kind of happening there. Um, that That's one of the topics uh, that will be happening for Public Works. But you can look up all this and more by going to ci.missoula.mt.us. But of course, if you're interested in my show, you can go to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice you made your it out twice and I'm too cheap to buy wakeupmissoula.com. So don't take that from me, random people watching. But um, <laughs> that's pretty much all you need to know about that. Um, I have uh, Behind the Basketball, so I'm going to show you some fun clips with uh, a bunch of the great teams that helped us this year with our MCAT sports programs, and this is the end of basketball season. So our very own Graham Martin um, gave us, uh, did some filming behind the scenes of our trip to the Flying Squirrel. They're just hanging out and having a good time. So um, the uh, only one thing that I'm embarrassed about this video is that I wore sweatpants in public. So without further ado, here is Behind the Basketball, the reward. Mm. Hi, we're at Flying Squirrel. What's this? We're not at Sentinel, but it's still pink and normal. Hi, I'm Sky, and we are here <laughs> at Flying Squirrel. <laughs> and we are here to have fun, but we already had fun. You, you don't get to see us jump, we're just doing it right now. So, jump. Neil, take it away. Ah! I put the drink in my hand, and then the pizza in my cup. It didn't make sense. What is that? Intensely putting in water. <laughs> As read, take a look at the camera and say something to the family. We spent over two hundred dollars. Yeah, whatever happened to Cole and David? I miss you. Oh God. Ooh, who's this? It's your short-haired guy. It's your short-haired boy. Back in action. But not at MCAT and or Sentinel. Yeah, we're at that freestyle place. We're at this place. <laughs> Uh, go up to the counter and just yell, Oh, hey, it's me, customer! Do you like mechanisms? No, I'm not smart enough for them. And that's why they can't rule the world. Because they would outsmart humans. Oh, nice. Oh, look, it's the pizza. Hey. We haven't introduced you. This is Moira. Hi. Yep. <laughs> okay, now Hi. And this is Mason, who is Jack's little brother. Can Hello. You just, just wait, guys. Calm down. Okay. It's well, fine. Don't put that on the floor. Right. This Security. dude it just came up and he just good. he threw pizza on the ground. Was it because like, you're being annoying? Is that like, why right you threw it on the ground? I did really not throw the pizza on the ground. It's a joke. Okay. Chill. What happened here? What happened? Um, well, you see, 
I needed help, and Jack tried to help me, but uh, he dropped his pizza. Wah, 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 Inception! Can this you pizza sucks. Could you imagine what the world would be like? So, think of it in an alternate reality. If Jack, if the pizza didn't drop, the world would come to an end. Think about that, think about that. Think about that. Did you hear? The candy's coming soon, but it's already there. Just got everybody! Upside down. Whoa, I'm gonna fall down. Whoa. Ram, it's called winning. You won? <laughs> yeah, I won. Whoa, I won too. Easy money, and then what happens? When you mess up like I do. <laughs> I slain the bound the uh the bandit chief at the Happiness! <laughs> You're getting in here. Alright. Are we ready, crowd? Yeah. yeah. Scott, can oh, you yeah. stick stick your head in? <laughs> Where's the camera? Okay, we're gonna get some fun borders and we're gonna get some of the fantastic friends. Oh, you clicked the wrong one. So apparently, the photo booth ripped us off. Oh, we're getting the manager. Okay. And the annoying pop music is away, and we are now in silence. We just finished going to the Flying Squirrel. It was yeah. bomb. It smells There's, like cigarettes out nuts. here. <laughs> I hate Bad people. people. <laughs> Whoa. We saw people we know here, kind of. I saw Cooper. I saw Cooper. All right, I'm gonna film everybody go to DQ while I uh, text my mom. So I'm gonna do a little fade in, fade out shot <laughs> with you guys walking. Almost there, as red. I'm doing a fade in, fade out shot for. has ended. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Now, um, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys about some events that are happening in Missoula. So, uh, parkour camp. Hey, starting this morning, as early as uh, half an hour ago, um, parkour summer camp started its second week on un unparalleled movement. Um, basically, this is happening um, 
June 18th through the 22nd um, this summer. Um, have your kids learn creative movement and have a ton of fun with parkour. Uh, students will learn about the moving uh, their bodies more effectively and learning skills including jumping, falling, safety, climbing, vaulting, flipping, and more. All happening um, those weeks and stuff. So the, each camp runs Monday through Friday and a full day camp runs about from 9 a.m. to about 3 p.m. Half day is from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And of course, half day afternoon is 12 to 3. Full day camps are, uh, of course, $225 a week or half day camps are $185 a week. So that's kind of like what they're going to be doing. Uh, early artist programs, Zutan Arts Community Center is doing, um, uh, you, um, Using garden growing as inspiration, early artists will learn to tell stories through listening, play, and tactile art making. Mixed media exploration guided by a professional youth program instructor, Carleen Cat Cantner, is designed to assist you in early artists and cognitive preparation needs for reading, writing, and learning. Um, Mismo Misa, uh, actually Mismo, um, Missoula Indoor Sports Arena and Roots Acre Sports Center do all sorts of things happening from 9.30 to about 12. So it's a great gymnastics thing for a lot of kids who are under five um, and not in school yet. But of course, if your kid is under, um, if, you do, if you don't feel so comfortable with your kid doing some gymnastics at that age, well, why not just be in a safe place where they might get a paper cut with uh, Tiny Tails at Empower Place at the Missoula um, Food Bank. So Missoula Food Bank off of Wyoming Street, just kitty corner of uh, West Side Lanes, um, the new food, Missoula Food Bank, where they have an Empower Place place where they do Tiny Tails sponsored by Missoula Public Library. Roxy Theater uh, International Wildlife Film Festival is in gear all this week, and you can go to the Roxy.org for more information about all these stuff. But Norway's magical fjords. Um, the Norwegian fjords are one of the most dramatic landscapes in Europe. Billions of herring darken the waters, and orcas and humpback whales feast on the fish banquet. Migrating salmon lead up waterfalls, strange sea pins flash their lights, and colorful sea slugs glow in the deep. All this and more at the Roxy starting at noon today. Um, but of course, if you're looking at going to the University of Montana, a, a perspective of South Korea, the full brighter's perspective on South Korea. Speaker Mary Nilis, International Student Advisor, Global Engagement University Students and Scholars, UM, long title, is from June 2017, she joined a group of eight international educators from across the U.S. to participate in Fulbright International Education Seminars, AIEI, in South Korea. This two-week seminar introduces American in, in, um, international educators to the highest higher education system in Korea, introduces a group of Korean counterparts in the um, international education, and exposes them to the wide range of cultural activities. And you can join Mary as she talks about the Fulbright AIEI um, experience um, <laughs> professional perspectives of uh, cultural themes um, that emerged through the trip. And I just got uh, a flash of um, Bingo was his name. Um, so that happens uh, today from 12 to 12, 12.50 in its uh, University Center room um, 3 to 6. So if you go to University Center on the third floor, um, it's in one of those conference rooms. So check it out. Um, but of course, uh, later uh, at the Roxy Theater is a short block, six, flying high. So this is a bunch of short um, documentary films at the Roxy Theater starting at 12.30. It's their sixth block. So they're going to have over 100 f f um, international wildlife films um, plant the Roxy all week. And I think we're at the halfway point today. Um, grandparents Raising Grandchildren Support Group is happening at the Missoula Asian Services at 1 p.m. The Grandparents Raising Children um, Support Group is a collaboration between MSU Extension Office and Missoula Asian Services. It meets third Wednesday of the month um, from 1 to 2 p.m. at Missoula Asian Services, which is at 337 Stephen Avenue. There is no cost to participate. Please come join for education and access to research-based support and resources that will enable parenting um, grandparents to lead healthier, happier lives. Grizz softball is at 3 p.m. It's Grizz versus Carroll College, and they're going to be playing some softball um, at the Grizzly softball fields. Um, there's a Baldessery Art Binge Teen Artist Workshop at the Missoula Art Museum. From 4 to 6 p.m., Missoula Art Museum is hosting uh, Steve uh, Krutek, is a printmaker who will provide a fun tour of John Baldessari's um, Interference Effects, selections from the collective of Jordan D. Schneitzer and his family foundation. Um, the art, the, uh, 
Archon believe they believe that the art shouldn't be owned and is inspired by his own borrowed imagery and dry wit. You will create an artwork and appropriate uh, advertisement, collage, screen printing, mono printing, and drawing. And then all these materials are free. And this is a teen um, artist workshop for teens who want to do a free art at the Missouri Art Museum from 4 to 6 p.m. Check it out, it's gonna be great. All materials and snacks are provided. State of the Young Child is happening at 6 p.m. Uh, with the State of the Child at 6.30. Um, Doubletree Hotel, uh, Edgewater, um, Edgewater Room. Uh, join for the Celebrate the Amazing Work and Dedication demonstrations by early childhood professionals. Learn about the current issues in early childhood and learn as a community about the importance of self-care and continuing work in such demanding field. Um, while the, uh, dinner is meant to honor the work of each uh, and each participant, each and every participant, awards will be given to outstanding early childhood champions in our community. So that's happening at the uh, Doubletree Hotel in the Edgewater Room. Carvey demonstration in the makerspace, Missouri B B Public Library at 6.30. Learn how you can make simple ornament signs and other cool gifts during this workshop that features a demonstration of Carvey, a desktop carving mechanism that can carve designs and text into wood or plastic. And if you, space is limited to six participants, only six, um, you can online register at tinyurl.com slash MPL Carvey demonstration April 2018 to, to that, uh, I mean, if you want to look that up, you go to MissoulaPublicLibrary.org and you can find the link to this class as well. It's a, it's a great resource as well as the Missoula Public Library. Republican U.S. Senate Candidate Forum. Um, hey, if you want to learn more about your candidates, um, you can go to MCAT.org or you can meet and greet with them at the Courtyard Marriott. Um, you can ask questions of the U.S. Uh, Senate candidates for the forum meet and greet the candidates afterwards and it all starts at 7 p.m. tonight so they're gonna all be traveling around together talking about uh, how they can beat tester if you want them to be um, if it's your preference I don't know it's Missoula who knows I don't know what you want uh, <laughs> American Idiot um, um, is not what I'm talking about but is a show that's happening at the uh, University uh, Montana Theater. So at the Montana Theater at 7.30 p.m. tonight kicks off the very first show starring uh, Diego Chillen as the star of the uh, Green Day crafted um, adaptation of the seminal, seminal award-winning album of the same name. This rock opera action centers around three restless and disaffected young men who rebel sometimes with disastrous consequences against stifling st suburban life. Audience discretion is advised as mature language content and situations, and it runs from today until the 21st, 25th through the 28th, 7.30 p.m. with matinees happening on April 22nd and 29th at 2 p.m. And you I heard it was really good. A lot of people, um, I know um, one of my volunteers at Flagship uh, runs Spot for him, and he says, it's good. I'm like, okay, cool. And uh, another friend of mine is going to be going tonight, so I'll ask him how it is, and I'll um, be sure to tell you if it's uh, if we get another thumb up um, for this play as well. So um, I have art clip for you guys, and then when I come back, we'll talk all about Thursday events. So stay with me.
Hey guys, welcome back. That was produced by our very own Rick Phillips. If you guys are interested in doing some things Thursday, you can kick things off with a blood drive happening at the Missoula Chamber Community Blood Drive at the Missoula Chamber of Commerce at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can come be a local hero. They're looking for anybody with any kind of blood type to do it. Um, of course, um, you have to schedule an appointment because I think it's their bus blood drive, so the blood bus, um, but you can call them at 546-7093. Again, that number is 546 546- 7093, or you can register online at the uh, Mozilla Red Cross. Um, easy Steps to eBooks at the Mozilla Public Library are starting at noon as well. So if you're doing a, a circle around the area, you go to Mozilla Chambers of Commerce, which is next to the uh, the Albertsons up East Mozilla Way. Um, and just circle around back to the Missoula Public Library and do learn about ebooks. You don't know what ebooks is? Find out at Missoula Public Library. <laughs> I'm not giving any description. Sil- spiders and Silk. 3 p.m. at the Missoula Insectarium, Missoula, Missoula Butterfly House.org. Uh, spiders use silk in many different aspects of their lives. One of the most important uses is where they are in need of a meal. Depending on your spider senses, they use their silk in different ways while capturing prey. And join us as they look at black widows, tarantulas, wolf spiders, and more, and how they can find and capture the prey while they do spider silk art projects. And the predator feeding is at 3.30 p.m. as well. Uh, Lego Club at the Missoula Public Library kicks off at 3.30 p.m. It's every Thursday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. It's in the Dragon Rugs area unless otherwise specified. Kids get to play with Legos. It's great. And if you're under 12, you must be accompanied by an adult. Uh, financial education class at Homeward. Homeward is a free financial fitness class uh, to get into financial sh- uh, f- uh, financial shape, set goals for spending and saving, managing debt, and learn other money management skills. Learn how to take charge of your finances. And you can register online at www.homeward.org. And it's Homeward as in, uh, what's the good word? Homeward. <laughs> um, self-defense for women. The Learning Center at Red Willow is hosting a free intro self-defense concepts and techniques for women with Michael Norville, PhD, Sensei, Ojo. Um, free instruction. This happens uh, tomorrow from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Attendance is at a free. Introductory is a strongly recommended for those interested in taking this course. And of course, the c- uh, courses are Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is $105 for a one-day only class, and you get certified um, as a um, women's self-defense concept and techniques. Um, now, Cardics on Anonymous meeting is happening tonight, um, at, I mean, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the University of Montana in the Jeanette Rankin Hall, room 203. So if you are uh, somebody who uh, has to take a Narcotics Anonymous class um, or you are looking to quit any narcotics, Jeanette Rankin Hall is the place to be. A Narcotics, nar- a narcotics Anonymous starting um, at 7 p.m. at the Jeanette Rankin Hall. So if you're at the Oval, take a left. It's the nice little cool little old building. If you guys are planning on going out and about uh, that night as well and you want to do some things, I suggest going to American Idiot. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's a play, and it's happening at the University of Montana Montana Theater and the Par TV building. So um, if you guys are interested in doing anything else that night, you can do uh, The Perfect Runner, which is the International Wildlife Film Festival, and I'm assuming it's um, looking at um, biology of creatures who have the best... Uh, uh, range of motion for running, uh, long distance, short distance, mid distance, and all sorts of fun little facts that you can learn to educate yourself on the animals that exist in our world today. Because humans aren't the only things that exist on this planet. Um, let's see. You got some karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon happening tomorrow night. Um, you got some Open Dex DJ party at VFW. You got Beth Nelson Chapman at the uh, Culture Cava and Espresso Bar. Um, you got Top Hat Lounge is doing a uh, acoustic folk music, and of course you get more karaoke at Dark Horse uh, happening this week as well. So of course a lot of trivia nights are happening tonight. Badlander has a karaoke tonight as well. But I'm going to wrap those up and just talk about where you can find out more information about my show by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com/wakeupmissoula. You get to see past 
past episodes and more as we show some th cool things and cool videos from our video gallery um, of videos uh, from past episodes, um, Flagship like Friday, Dublin stuff. Um, of course, the vlog will be wrapping up our Deolio, and of course you can watch some of the past episodes as well. So uh, once again, I want to thank you guys for joining me this morning. Um, if you are interested in finding out more and um, having your program air on MCAT, orientation is every Wednesday night at 5.30 p.m. You can call at 542-6228 or 542-MCAT to register, or you can just drop in and we'll show you everything that you need to know. We rent out equipment to a community. Uh, you must be a resident of Missoula County to check out equipment, and you can use it to make films, um, make videos, and do some wonderful things with that as well. But without further ado, I want to thank you guys for joining me and for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp. I will see you guys Friday. Thank mm -hmm. you.